Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Everything is Fine, episode 66 to 67. I've been recording all day, so I'm a little exhausted. But um, you guys can find all these reads on webtoons.com. I will be censoring some of these because they do get pretty graphic and I will censor the words I say because some of them have a lot of profanity. But I will have all these on my Patreon page with no censorship and no alert, like sort of blurs and beeping out, okay? And I was sh I'm planning on making it free since it is a horror read. So I don't know, but let's go ahead and get started. Warning, this episode contains disturbing content and imagery. Well, ain't this a nice surprise? Uh, Dave, you scared me. Oh gosh, sorry about that. Last thing I'd want to do is scare you. After all, fear spoils good meat. <clears throat> Excuse me, Dave. Would you mind stepping back a little? You're my wife's personal space. <laughs> You're a nice guy, Sam. You know who you remind me of? Glenn. Lynn and Gladys. What a lovely couple they were. What happened to them again? Please, it hurts. Please, make it stop. You know, Dave, I've met a few people like you too. Bullies. People who enjoy inflicting pain. And it always turns out the same way for them in the end. They end up hurting themselves more than anyone else. You should think about that. Did not expect that type of response from Sam. Oh, he has a backbone now. <laughs> Bully, if you want to see the world that way, be my guest. When I trap reds, sure, I enjoy the feeling of taking a life, but I always let my friends claim the kill. I've helped more people go up than anyone here. I'm not even in the game. I don't need their votes, but I'm still kind to most people. You can say the same. Even if you get the merits, what makes you think anyone here will vote you up? And remember, I really was being friendly to you, but then you came after me. Anyways, see you out there. I didn't need your help. I know. And the votes are in. And with a near unanimous decision. Chris, it is with a heavy heart. Okay, okay, just breathe. That I designate you. The farm, the tree. Red status. The fireflies, the moon. Noah? Yes, I can hear you. It's okay, son. It's okay. We're not really here. We're at the farm. The tree. The farm. The... Uh, Noah, no. Just jump. Just jump. You don't have to... No. Not like this, Noah. Not like this. Can you hear me? Just jump. Just make it quick. No. Put it down. Oh, God, no. My boy. My boy. He's... Somebody help him. Stop. Just standing there. Kill him quick. He's... He's all inside out. He's all inside out. Uh, my, my boy, my boy, my, my boy. <clears throat> it's an ugly and terrible burden, but one we all share. You could have stopped that from happening. Lied about the result of the vote. Uh, Laura. Hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, Chris, you may go. Everyone else, you have 20 minutes to prepare for an extra special bonus hunt. Extra special? That, hmm? That's an earthworm. Love. <sighs> uh, uh, oh, God. <laughs> 
Oh, my pants. My, my, my boy. Uh, what's the point? I should just talk. Uh, uh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dave, you psycho. Damn it, Gina. You should have let me kill him. I should have never helped you, you selfish. Oh, oh you. Is this how I go out? Fine. Just m please make it quick. Something tells me he's alive. There's no way that he they take him out. They're going to use him for something. Right? Let's see. Warning. This episode contains disturbing content and imagery. Go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dave, you psycho. Damn it, Gina. You should have let me kill him. I should have never helped you, you selfish. Uh, oh, you. This is how I go out? Fine. Just please make it quick. Maggie. It's okay, Chris. I'm not... Just don't leave me for Dave, okay? Don't. I deserve a quick death after what you did to me. Chris, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm... I'll get you down. Just, uh... Damn, I should have brought a knife. Oh, hey, this rock should do it. Please, just use it to cut my throat or bash my brain in. And quick! Before Dave gets here and pull my skin off or something. You don't have to die today, Chris. Look, I'm sorry about what happened, but I want to, well, I know there's no way of making it right, but I want to help you. I'm going to get you down and then you head up those hills. Keep running uphill until you see railroad tracks and follow them west. Eventually you see a museum. Go in with your hands up and beg them to let you stay. Tell them I sent you and... I said you're not like Gina. You're stable. And just act real stable, okay? Calm. No sudden moves. That's your best... No. Your only way out of this. Snap. Uh. Maggie, my boy is dead. So live for him. That's what he would want. It's not your fault the world is like this. But you can be a part of fixing it. You can fight to make it so nobody else has to go through what you just went through. And you can stick a knife right in the eye of the people who really did it to you. I, I don't know what to say. Worry about that once you're in the clear. Now go before... Well, looky here. We have a little picnic. And hear me, here's with, here's me without a blanket. Dave. Hey there, Maggie. Chris. You don't have to do this. You're not even in the game, right? Just let him go. <laughs> no, I don't have to do this, Maggie. I get to do this. In fact, I'm giddy as a schoolgirl about it. And the old world, all those politicians, priests, lawyers, therapists, even the people who told you they loved you. Not one word from their mouths was ever true. You want to know the, what's the truth is, Maggie? The sound of parents makes as I dismantle their child. The moment that disbelief turns into despair in their eyes as they realize I'm the butcher and their family is the meat. Gotta say, I miss seeing their eyes and hearing the child, the kids scream too. But as far as the rest goes, it's like this no, new world was made for people like me. The truth seekers. Dave, it's me you want. Maggie's not a red, red remember? <laughs> you think I care? Everyone's here loves me. Good old Dave, who gives them good meat, helps them fix things. But you, Maggie? What value have you given the, this community? None. Just like the rest of them. You only care about yourself. They won't vote against me, even if they know I killed you. And when I'm done with you, I'll go find Sam. Actually, hey, maybe I'll keep you alive. Would you prefer to die while he watches or watch him die first? Wait, what am I saying? I'll bleed you both slowly and you can watch each other. If you touch a hair on Sam's head, I'll... 
Oh, Maggie, come on. I know you're a meaner bitch than that. You really want your last words before I take your tongue to be that stupid? And frankly, cliche. Come on, girl, show some fire. Say something like, Look out, Dave. He's got your gun. What the? <laughs> I'm so, so. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Sam, honey, you okay, Maggie? Uh, yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Just glad I got here in time. That was insane, Sam. Thank you. Sam? Yep. I'm sorry, Maggie. This is when you step aside. Well, that's a cliffhanger. <laughs> All right, guys. If you guys enjoy the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and check out my other reads. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.